All right, guys. <clears throat> so you know that I drive a 2000 Dodge Dakota Sport, with a 3.9 liter V6. It's not very powerful. It does what I want <clears throat> most of the time. I've got just over 100,000 miles on this thing. And you'll see the nice little burn mark here where I kept having to unhook and rehook my battery cable. That was because my radiator fan would not shut off. Keys off, everything, it just kept running. And I couldn't figure it out. And I called my buddy and he's like, well, your relay's bad. Or if that's not the issue, something else. But pretty much relay's bad. So I'm like, crap. Well, so I look up online. And everyone online is like, oh, it's a fuse. No, it's over here. It's this... It's this thing, but that's not it. That's not it either. Don't don't mistake me. And then someone's like, well, it's underneath this thing. I've read like a hundred forums trying to find this relay because I couldn't find it because I'm stupid. So I've checked all these, all these. It's supposed to, all the ones online say it's a little flat thing. A little flat thing goes right here, like somewhere in this area. Or, and then someone says, oh no, it's under the radiator. Well, you know what? Have you ever tried to get under a radiator on one of these vehicles? It's pain. So I'll show you what I did. I got up under here, and I pulled this little guard right here. I pulled that sucker off, thinking, oh, I'll get it. You know what was under there? There's a wire. Wire that runs the fan. No relay. Couldn't find a relay. I'm like, it is not a direct drive. I know it's not. Otherwise, it would have never shut off. <laughs> I found it. I found it in the most obvious spot. And my stupid butt didn't even think to look in the relay box. So I'm looking, I'm like, well, which one? So I'm like, I look through. So uh, I see radiator fan right there. See it? No, you don't because the phone's being stupid. Oh, there it is, radiator fan. But what, what you don't see is that's, that's a fuse. So I'm like, crap. Do you see it? It's right there. It's right here. It's this one right there. That's the one you need if you're looking for this part. And let me tell you something. Mine wouldn't even... Well, I'm going to replace it anyhow. I have to go get it. You'll notice the fan's not running, though. I was like, okay, here it is. I was going to pull it and see if that made it stop, hopefully. Which, I touched it and it went click. That's all it was. The thing was stuck. And a quick little touch and the fan stopped. So, if you're having that issue, simply look in the obvious spot. And touch it. And if it clicks, test the problem. See if it shut off. So now I have to go reset my radio. And tighten my battery cable up. But, let's find out if it'll start now. Do, do, do. No. Let's see, let's see. It's full of junk. It's full of junk. I know. Uh, I've lost my key. By the way, I look like a janitor. I have a million keys. Hang on. Come on. This hard to do one-handed. There we go. Brand new carabiner. Let's see. Oops. Look at that. She starts. Let's pop the hood. And here's where the fun will start. Okay, I can hear it. My fan's running. Now let's shut it off. And see. And it shuts off. It's no longer running. That was it. Just just had to tap that relay. Okay, guys. Sorry. Um, I was trying to get some fishing video for you guys. This happened. And a few other things have happened. So, yeah, that's fun. All right, well, then we'll see what else. I still got, you know, another day or two, day and a half. We'll see what happens. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Look at all my junk. Bye-bye.